Hi folks, how's everyone doing? Uh, it's Denham here. Uh, as you can see, the skate park's pretty quiet. Um, I'm sure we're all aware that um, maybe we won't be getting much of a skating for a little while. So in the spirit of remaining positive, I thought that what we'd have a go at is a couple of online trick tips. Seeing as some of you guys can't come down for coaching um, and you might, uh, you might not be able to get much of a skating out and about. So I'll come to you virtually in a sense and we'll see if we can learn a couple of tricks together. Okay. Now it's really important as well guys that you follow the guidelines for social distancing while you're learning these tricks. If you can use a little spot in your garden, all these tricks are going to be things that you can do just on a bit of flat ground. You're not going to need to go to a skate park and use the ramps really. It's mainly flat ground stuff, uh, but just basic things that are going to help you skating. And ultimately the things that are going to require quite a lot of practice, which is perfect if you're on lockdown, which sounds like it might be imminently. Um, but like I say, something for you to have a go at um, and you've got plenty of time to learn it, so no excuses, right? So one trick that I know a lot of people ask how to do is the ollie, right? So it's a fundamental trick, it leads us on to a lot of different tricks in skateboarding and it's going to take a little while to learn but let's see if we can break it down a little bit. I'll give you something to work on over these next few weeks. So an ollie consists of three key steps. First step is the pop. So that's where you're stamping onto the tail and hearing the tail hit the floor, okay? Second step we've got is we're scraping that front foot upwards and that's what helps to level the board out like this. And the last thing we need to be doing is jumping and landing on these bolts here, okay? So long as you land on your bolts, that's the best place to land and then you're not gonna slip out either way, okay? So let's break this down a little further for you. So let's look at the foot position here. So my front foot is just behind the bolts a bit at the front of the board. My back foot is nice and solidly on the tail, ready for the pop. Remember one of the best things about skateboarding is that everyone does it a little bit differently. That's how I set up my feet and this is the way that works for me. But if you have a way that feels easier, you go ahead and do that. That's not a problem, okay? It's all about figuring out what works for you. Now, some people are gonna learn ollies within one session. Some people are gonna take a couple of months. Learning to get the height and really styling the ollies out is gonna take you a little while. So don't get frustrated. Just keep going, keep trying, stay positive with it and be resilient, okay? Now, ideally what you wanna do is think of yourself a bit like a spring. So the more you push down on it, the more pressure it's got to spring back up. So you want to be starting this with your knees nice and bent and being able to really bring those knees up to you to get the height. Think about if you're trying to jump on the flat ground. If you tried to do it with straight legs, it wouldn't work too well, okay? And also, with, with, with our feet, we don't want them to be super flat. We want to be kind of on our toes a little bit, not right on our tiptoes, just kind of nice and flexible, just on our toes a bit, just to give us that bit more control, a bit more power. One of the things that can go wrong with ollies is you'll find that you pop your ollie and maybe the back foot just doesn't stay on. Now that's because with this front foot, it's pushing the board forward. So you might need to jump a little bit towards the nose of the board to be able to land over those bolts again, okay? So give that a try if you're kind of having a bit of trouble getting that back foot on. Also with your shoulders, keep them nice and straight lined up with your legs and your knees, okay? If you start turning your shoulders, your hips are gonna go with it and you could land with both feet either side of the board. So try and keep everything lined up together. Remember, the more power you've got in the legs, the higher you're gonna get your ollies, the more pop you're gonna have as well, okay? Awesome, so go get to work on your ollies. Uh, see how you get on. If you're struggling, um, drop us a comment or find LS10 over on your Facebook or Instagram and uh, we'll be able to help you out a little. So this is the basis of, um, of a lot of different tricks. Once you've got this nailed, it opens the door to a lot of other things for you. So keep trying, keep working at it and persevere. 
You'll be all good. Nice one. Stay safe, guys. Cheers.